There are many hotels and resorts located in some of the most luxurious places around the world. Each and every year guests stay in these hotels while on their summer holidays or honeymoons. But sometimes unforeseen events can leave these deluxe buildings completely abandoned while mould and rodents are what's left inhabiting the suites, ballrooms and indoor swimming pools. Today let's explore these 10 abandoned hotels you're not allowed to visit. Number 10, The White Pines. This hotel was located at the base of the Pocono Mountains, which are a few hours north of New York City. The hotel has a lot of mystery surrounding it, as its address and true name aren't known due to many urban explorers wanting to keep it protected, and it is instead referred to only as The White Pines. During the early 1900s, the resort was a popular summer haven for garment workers and featured a lake, theater, library, and many other activities for its guests. Sadly today, the hotel is crumbling and in a state of disrepair. Photographer John Walker captured haunting images of this abandoned resort and stated, the theater and its main building interested me the most. Just seeing what time and mother nature have done to the location since it closed always makes it exciting to see and capture with a camera. Number nine, Grosinger's Catskill Resort. Grosinger's Catskill Resort Hotel was a resort located in the Catskill Mountains in the town of Liberty near New York. The resort was known as one of the largest Borscht Belt resorts and was a kosher establishment that catered primarily to Jewish clients from New York City. The once popular resort welcomed over 150,000 visitors annually and during 1954 the resort even earned a place in the history of skiing as the first resort in the world to use artificial snow. The resort was even so popular that it had its own airstrip, ballrooms, post office, auditoriums and sports grounds, hosting comedians and sporting champions and putting on nightly entertainment. However, the Grosinger failed to attract younger guests during the 70s and 80s, leading to the resort to close its doors in 1986. Number 8. Ducor Palace Hotel Located in Liberia, the Ducor Palace Hotel was owned by Intercontinental Hotel Chain and was known as a five-star hotel overlooking the Atlantic Ocean. Even though the hotel was one of the most luxurious in Africa, it closed in 1989 after Liberia was ravaged by civil war and political instability. After these events, Intercontinental broke away from the Ducor Palace just before the Liberian government was overthrown and the gruesome event of the president being cannibalized. Eventually, the hotel fell to homeless squatters and ended in ruins. Years later, in 2007, Liberian officials evicted the squatters in the hope of bringing the property back to life by Muammar Gaddafi's Libyan government. However, that soon fell through after another civil war erupted, leading to the death of Gaddafi. Today, the foreboding hallways of the Dugor Palace Hotel are stacked with garbage and no running water. Walking around the property is quite dangerous after railings were torn off the stairs. Number 7. Igloo City Igloo City is a four-story concrete structure which resembles an igloo and was built in one of the most remote areas of Alaska. The hotel was built in the 1970s, however the building never met the proper building requirements. What makes this hotel so fascinating is the fact that it was built solely to rely on summer tourists. Since its construction, the building has had many owners and besides being used as a hotel, has also been a souvenir stand and even a roadside attraction. However, it failed to even make enough revenue to be sustainable. One of the last attempts at resurrecting Igloo City failed to happen due to lack of funds back in 2005. Sadly, vandals have destroyed the remaining interior and dangerous wildlife take cover within the hotel. So even though the doors aren't locked, I would not go sightseeing in this hotel. Number six. Bokor Palace Hotel and Casino. This resort was built in the early 1920s by French settlers and was constructed in the remote mountains of Cambodia. Unfortunately, due to its location, around 1,000 lives were lost during its development. 
after its opening, the hotel flourished for two decades and the hotel was well known for being an oasis away from the heat of Phnom Penh, Cambodia's busy capital. Things started taking a turn for the worst for the Boca Hill Station after the Vietnam conflict broke out during the late 1940s, which led the Europeans fleeing the country. The once popular Boca Hill Station was now used primarily by the military and politicians and was a site of invasions and mass killings made by the Khmer Rouge. Because of this, the area has been abandoned since the early 1990s. Today, the Boca Hill Station is back on the map as a popular tourist attraction and sits on national parkland. The hotel is now covered in moss, making it look like an ancient ruin. On a creepy note, many locals in the area say the palace is teeming with the spirits of those who gave their lives to build it. One park ranger named Vishat stated, I wouldn't enter the building at night. Every time I walk past, I can hear the dead walk in there. It's full of ghosts. Several moves have even been made in the hotel, including Korean movie R Point and Matt Dillon's crime drama City of Ghosts. Number 5. The Grand Hotel Resort This hotel was located in Croatia's Dubrovnik Riviera and was once an idyllic hotspot for summer vacation, used primarily by high-ranking military officials of Yugoslav People's Army. The Grand Hotel Resort was constructed in the 1960s on a sandy bay and included five hotels, a campsite and many villas. The hotel was known for retaining the heights in elegance with its grand name and decor. Today the hotel now lies in devastated ruins after falling to attacks when the Homeland War broke out in the early 1990s. This left the once elegant resort unrecognisable as not only was it looted for valuables, phosphorus bombs were used to systematically burn the hotels floor by floor. The remainder of the Grand Hotel has now a ghostly presence. Over time, nature has overgrown the remaining structures with ivy and weeds now filling the ballrooms, trees sprouting up in the reception area and the crumbling building covered in masses of graffiti. Number 4. Sanji UFO Houses This set of pot-shaped buildings is located in Sanji District, New Taipei City, Taiwan, and is also known as the Sanji Pot Houses or Sanji Pot City. The construction of the UFO houses began in 1978 when they were intended to be a holiday resort targeted US military officers coming in from the East Asian postings. However, the hotel would come to a dark end in 1980 due to investment losses and several eerie car accident deaths and suicides. Some locals say the hotel was located on a former burial ground for Dutch soldiers, while others suggest the deaths were caused by an ill-omened decision to destroy a massive ceremonial dragon statue which was believed to be possessed in order to widen the entrance road. To make matters more sinister, site records were destroyed which only added more intrigue to the disaster of Sanju's mysterious demise. In 2010, the pods were demolished to make way for a new resort. However, time will tell whether the new developers will have the same haunting events dogging them like the previous developers. Number 3. Mount Maya Hotel Known as Haikyo, meaning abandoned place, this is the most popular abandoned location in all of Japan. Named the Mount Maya Hotel, it was built in 1929 and housed anti-aircraft guns on its roof during World War II. The building suffered damage during the war and was rebuilt in the 1960s in an attempt to bring the hotel back to life. However, it was soon after that, in 1967, that natural disasters including a typhoon and mudslides led the hotel to be damaged yet again. It was reopened years later as a student centre before closing its doors for good in 1995. Number 2. Hotel del Salto, Colombia this once luxurious hotel first opened its doors in 1928 and welcomed wealthy visitors sightseeing the Tekendama Falls area. Hotel del Salto is situated opposite a waterfall and is placed on the edge of a cliff. The hotel provides breathtaking views of the scenery. However, the hotel has a dark past. Due to its location on top of a cliff, the hotel was a hotspot for people committing suicide with some locals even suggesting that Hotel de Salto is haunted. During the decades following its opening, the Bocada River over which the hotel was placed became contaminated, leading to tourists losing interest in the area. 
Sadly, the hotel ceased operation in the early 90s and has been abandoned ever since. Number 1. Raijong Hotel Located in Pyongyang, North Korea, this hotel is a staggering 105-story pyramid-shaped skyscraper building. The Raijong Hotel attains the height of 1,080 feet, making it a prominent feature in Pyongyang's city skyline. Construction for the hotel began in 1987 and was planned to be finished by 1989. However, due to the construction method and problems with materials, the project was never completed. According to CNN, rebuilding began to take place in 1992, but the project soon ground to a halt in 1993 due to funding issues. Today the building structure stands unfinished, despite countless construction plans which failed to begin throughout the years. A North Korean government official told the Los Angeles Times in 2008 that construction was not completed because North Korea ran out of money. The rumours of problems and the mystery about its future led foreign media sources to dub it the worst building in the world, Hotel of Doom and Phantom Hotel.